Hit me on my barn a prepaid a while list. We pack and deliver like UPS trucks. Already gonna hell just pumping that gas. All I wanna do is and uh sing and I take your money. All I wanna do is and uh sing and I take your money. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and NBs, and thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV. And I, of course, am your host, Andrew. Today, we are doing a bit of a DIY video. Today, we are crafting Victorian era candles. Now, in the intro, you did see the basics to start the process of making your own Victorian era candles with the pot, the wax, and the fire, obviously. Since we're waiting for the wax to melt right here, I have a few things to give you a little bit of history about candles and why they came to prominence. The earliest known man-made candles date back to 500 BCE. They were made with a variety of different materials, number one being tallow, which was common with the Romans. Between 2021 and 206 BCE, the Chinese actually used whale fat. And India actually boiled down cinnamon to make temple candles. But what we're working with today is beeswax. And actually, I have a photo of beeswax candles surviving from 6th or 7th century AD. Now, during colonial times, these were made of animal fat, whether that be beef or sheep, known as tallow. Now, these obviously came with some drawbacks because they stunk. They burned poorly, and they were a very insufficient way for a light source. And, of course, it was a fire hazard. However, during the 19th centuries, candles became more affordable to a wider range of people. In the 1820s, Eugene Chevreau actually developed a way to extract the steric acid out of the animal fat. Now, during the Victorian era, the three most common candle types were tallow, spermacet, which, however, is the most durable, and beeswax, which is the most common in what we are working with today. These candles obviously were succeeded in the later part of the century by paraffin wax candles, but that does not mean the Victorian era cannot live on today because that's what we're doing today. We are building beeswax candles. The method we will be using is called the dipping method, and that will make us tapered candles. And to end off my long charade of telling you stuff that you probably didn't even want to know, here's a fun fact for you. In 1848, that is when Christmas started to be decorated with candles. And it was also a sign that if you had lit candles in your windowsill, it was a sign for strangers to come in for some free food and some shelter. Now that our wax is melted, let's start dipping and making some tapered candles. I know I'm technically cheating by weighting the bottom of these with modern day lead fish weights. And make sure that the wick gets fully ingratiated with the wax and you want it to be as straight as possible. And the key is, well, to get both of them in there at the same time, is you dip, wait till your wick has a little give because that means you know you hit the bottom. Bring it back up, let it dry, and then you go back in for seconds. And given this isn't traditional when it comes to terms of wicks. And once your candles become heavy enough to self-sustain the weight going into the wax, you can cut those weights off. And that's how you get your tapered look. Obviously, because they're going to be thicker at the bottom and skinnier up top. As you can see, I cut the excess wick off the bottom of these. And now we're going to start getting that tapered look because more of the wax is going to make it further up the wick. These are Victorian era scissors too, don't worry. LIAR! 
see this right here it's starting to get that tapered look that's exactly what we're going for it's going to be thicker at the bottom than it is up top obviously once you're done you're going to knock those little nodlings off there so you can set them somewhere I removed some of the less desirable parts of the candle and we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna let these dry and we're gonna take them in and see how they burn. Just set one of these bad boys in here because as much as I wanna destroy my table, I don't. Just cut it into a nice wick, like so. We'll place him at the bottom of that, and then we'll we have a candle. Set him right there for now. Probably have to go here in a second because he'll set my movie poster on fire, and I would hate for you guys to miss the. The premiere of St. Andrew. All facts, no printer, I might add. But anyway, that wraps up today's video of making beeswax candles from the Victorian era. It was a blast, and I hope you guys learned something today. And if you didn't, I hope I refreshed your memory. Hopefully you guys try this out for yourself, because I spent, I think, $12 on the entire kit to build this. Everything was relatively cheap. And after I conclude this video, I'm actually gonna go back out there and make more. I'm gonna make some scented ones too, so they're more palatable for the normal Joe Schmo. My name is Andrew with St. Andrew TV. If you've enjoyed today's video, think about leaving a like or think about hitting that subscribe button because you're a daisy if you do. Oh shit, I knew I was going to do that at least once this video.